I just met with my National Security Council as part of our regular effort to review and constantly intensify our campaign against ISIL. And I want to thank Director Brennan and everybody here at the Central Intelligence Agency for hosting us and for their critical contributions to this fight. In late February, at our meeting at the State Department, I directed my team to continue accelerating this campaign on all fronts. And we have. This remains a difficult fight and a complex one involving many countries and different communities in Syria and in Iraq. My top priority, above all else, is the security of the United States and the safety of the American As we've seen so tragically, from Brussels to Istanbul to Iraq, where ISIL slaughtered children watching soccer, these depraved terrorists still have the ability to inflict horrific violence on the innocent to the revulsion of the entire world. With attacks like these, ISIL hopes to weaken our collective resolve. And once again, they have failed. Their barbarism only stiffens our unity and determination to wipe this vile terrorist organization off the face of the earth. Today, on the ground in Syria and in Iraq, ISIL is on the defensive. Our 66-member coalition, including Arab partners, is on the offensive. We have momentum, and we intend to keep that momentum. The United States and the safety of the American people, and that means preventing terrorist attack. Our air campaign, more than 11,500 11, strikes so far, continues to pound ISIL targets. It's harder than ever for them to move and for their masses to, uh, or for them to uh, mass forces. When they try, we take them out. ISIL still has managed to advance in some areas of Syria and Iraq, but it has not had a single successful major offensive operation on the ground there since last summer. And at the moment, it is fun. Meanwhile, in Syria, a coalition of local forces, some backed by U.S. Special Operations Forces, continue to make progress, pushing ISIL out of the strategic town of al-Shadidi. ISIL was dug in there, and that battle was expected to last several weeks. Instead, ISIL was defeated in several days. With this, we've severed a critical supply line between ISIL strongholds of Raqqa in Syria and Mosul in Iraq, tightening the squeeze on ISIL in both areas.